What is up guys, DT Ninja here to bring you a discussion on Full Metal Panic. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on Invisible Victory this week. Uh, there was no new episode. I was a little disappointed, you know, I was I was looking forward to seeing the new, the new arc, but apparently they did a recap episode. You know, the first four episodes kind of reviewing what has already happened. So they did a recap. It's kind of episode 4.5. But anyways, I wanted to do something, so I decided to do a discussion. And today's discussion is going to be on Arbalest. Arbalest, uh, you know, the ARX-7 AS unit of Sosuke and how it is connected to both Sosuke and Kaname. And how they are all uh, one... They're kind of all as one unit when they are the most powerful. So, uh, anyways, I wanted to show you guys, you know, different... I, I wanted to discuss different uh, parts in the series and how they actually relate back to how they're connected. So, anyways, before we even get to the discussion, I want to uh, give you guys uh, an update. Uh, Funimation.com is actually doing a simulcast of the English dub for uh, Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. Now, I, I first learned Full Metal Panic, the English version, so that's how I got into it. But uh, yeah, guys, so definitely check out Funimation.com. If you guys have an account, you guys can watch the first episode uh, of Invisible Victory in English dub, the original cast is involved so I cannot wait to you know watch that because I absolutely love the English dub so yeah anyways um the discussion so as you guys can see I have the uh, original season where uh, Sosuke is fighting Gowron uh, and this is during the school trip and where Konami is kind of a uh, you know taken in by uh, by the terrorist organization trying to give her drugs and she finally you know awakens her whispered abilities and she helps out Sosuke in the battle against Gowron. So that is one of the very first times that we see Arbalest and obviously you know the AI Al and Sosuke kind of have a connection with Konami and actually it shows her whispered abilities awaken, right? Because we see this, you know, she, she, you can even see she has this um, headache where she's starting to, to kind of have premonition, you know, like the intuition thing, like in the last episode where she saw Sosuke, you know, being destroyed by Leonard, you know, so she saw Gowron, obviously, uh, his, his AS unit is superior, so... Uh, he knows how to use the Lambda driver, at least in that in that respect. So, But it is very interesting because this was the very first time we saw uh, Konami actually involved, uh, you know, very much into the plot here. Because now she's, you know, obviously she's a whispered, she's, she's communicating with Sosuke, telling him exactly what to do. So, uh, like in my, in my, uh, my book here... It shows her, you can see her right here, closer here, you can see like right here where she's on the uh, the radio and she is communicating with Sosuke, telling him the exact, you know, information. You got to punch him at this moment and, you know, he's actually being successful because of her because she can, you, she knows the information. She can understand how a Lambda driver works, how to activate it. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of psychological. It's in the mind. But it's also you have to believe in yourself. You have to have this information that the Whispered have. And that's another reason why Leonard is so superior to Sosuke with a Lambda driver, with his AS unit, because he's fully capable he has information understanding of black technology so that makes him a lot more dangerous but that doesn't necessarily mean sosuke you know cannot take out leonard because we've seen sosuke in some bad ass situations where he like destroyed multiple units it was almost unstoppable so In 
that instance in the last episode, he was broken, right? Distraught, distressed. Uh, you know, you could definitely tell Kaname was slipping away from him. And if, if I am to quote Sosuke here, he actually says, When I'm with you... I feel like I can do anything. And this was a quote at the very end of season one, uh, where they're in the fishing, he has a fishing spot, and he shares it with her. He says, when I'm with you, I feel like I can do anything. And so in that last episode, when he broke down and destroyed, uh, Kaname leaves them, you know, all of that. You know, and even before they fought, remember, he said, let's fight together. So he expected her to be on his side. And when that didn't happen, you know, it's just, like I said, it's psychological. It's it's mental also. The the Lambda Driver is also, because you, you can definitely tell it's in the mind because Kaname and Leonard, they can use telepathy. So this whispered black technology definitely has some connection to the mind. It's psychological. So that can be very, very damaging, obviously, to Sosuke's, you know, fighting power. Obviously, he needs Kaname on his side to be effective with his AS unit, with Arbalest. So, now... Like I said, in the original, we see Kaname, and she is actually helping him, and finally he gets a victory. It's, it's kind of a victory, right? Because of her, because she tells him what to do, because she walks him through it, she has that information. And that's another thing. That's what I think, that's why I think Gato probably put Kaname... Uh, on his side at the beginning because he wanted to show that that whispered intuition of her rather than her being like the kind of arrogant one because in in the original novel she's more arrogant she's like so you're just like the rest of them it's almost like she's above him but I definitely can see how Gato is actually making her out to be a whispered, but showing her abilities rather than her arrogance, like she's above regular people. So I did like that, but that also, you know, that could be the reason why Gato actually put that in that episode, in, at the end of episode three. In the last episode, guys, in the last episode, where Gowron takes control of the ship, right? He hijacks the ship, and there is another death match, the final death match between Gowron and Sosuke. Well, we all know Kaname is actually taking control of the ship, trying to get control back of the ship. Well, towards the end, uh, she has this message on the ship right and she actually like opens the hatch on the outside because you know Gowron and Sosuke are battling on the outside their AS units Venom and uh, Arbalest are fighting but she opens the hatch right almost like to communicate with Sosuke and Arbalest so again you know there's a connection there obviously uh, it, 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 it's, they're all together as, as one unit. In the first season, the connections that we see, we do see a few there. Um, but like I said, uh, in the first season, we do get that initial, uh, idea that there is a connection. It's just not complete. And later on, in the second raid, it becomes perfectly clear there is some connection because... There is, not only do uh, Sosuke and Kaname have this conflict, not only with each other, but themselves. Uh, so not only do they break down, have their own problems, and even the episode titles, his problem, her problem, each of them in their own perspectives, right? With Sosuke uh, losing his will to fight, right? And his soul to, to win is kind of crushed, right? After, after leaving Kaname behind. Because remember, at the end of episode 24, in season 1, he said, When I'm with you, I feel like I can do anything. And in a way, when he's with Arbalest... He's kind of with Kaname, too. When he feels like he 
he can, you know, when he's confident, you know, and, and he's fighting, he kind of feels like he's with her. And that's another thing with the connection part. But anyways, uh, we also get to see him break down and Arbalest and Al, like, you know, the computer, it starts asking him questions, you know, Sosuke, uh, what is a whim? And he starts asking him all these different questions, and then he, sa he, he mentions intuition, which is also interesting because we know uh, he also shows that in the latest episode right intuition he actually goes and defines intuition is is part of our soul it's it's inside it's deep within well you know it's it's part of us so uh the intuition is shown in the last episode where he says uh sosuke why are you leaving me here uh please don't leave me i have a feeling we're going to part ways and remember that connected back to kaname where she had the premonition uh, of her intuit, basically seeing Sosuke being broken, destroyed by Leonard. So again, there's some connection there, right? Because Kaname's power, she saw that happen, and uh, Arbalest is telling him, Al's telling him, something bad is going to happen. So again, there is something they are communicating between each other. So uh, that is also interesting. Um, now, like I said, the episode titles kind of reveal this, uh, his problem, her problem. And then in the final episode of, uh, the second raid, that is the one where he feels that, you know, Kaname's dead. He thinks she's dead because Gowrin said she's dead. And so... He, you know, Arbalist comes flying down from the sky, and he looks at him and he's like, what a worthless piece of crap. I'm, I, don't, I don't want you. And he's like, I'm not going to use you. And then suddenly after that, you know, Kaname shows up and obviously, you know, beats some sense into him. But my point is, right after that, it's, it's almost like it was... A connection there as well because right after that he goes off and fights and that's when he feels invincible that's when he feels invincible and later on you know there's this this battle where he destroys all five of those venoms and after it Al, Al actually asks him so sergeant did you solve your problem you know we just we just won an, uh, a complete victory but what was your problem? Was it a personal problem? And he says, no, it's our problem. It's our problem. So he's reflecting back that it's not only his problem, but it's Kaname's problem and Arbalist or Al's problem as well. So they're all connected as one because they all have to uh, kind of be in sync to be at full power. That's, that's how it works, at least... That's how I think it works because, like I said, it's of the mind, right? This, the Lambda driver works. It's, it's very psychological. Anyways, guys, we know that Leonard utterly defeated Sosuke in the last episode. We know he was broken in despair. We know he will pick himself back up and he will rescue Konami eventually. We also know that Sosuke is an incredible pilot and mercenary. We know he's very skilled. So... The fact that Leonard defeated him, uh, it, it was more a mental thing, you know, emotional and a mental breakdown as well. Because, like I said, uh, when he feels invincible, it's when he's with Konami. When he feels like he's with her, he feels like he can do anything. And he even stated that in one of the episodes. Okay, so, but anyways, uh, you definitely could tell he was not... Uh, ready for Leonard. He just wasn't, right? I mean, L Leonard is a whispered. Uh, he doesn't know how to fully operate, you know, Arbalest at full power without Konami's help. Sosuke is going to have, you know, a, a counterattack coming. 
But first, he's got to go to Namsok and start over. Basically, he has to start his life over. But yeah, this has just been a discussion, guys, on Arbalest and its connection with Konami and Sosuke. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully next week uh, we will get the new uh, content for Episode 5. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed.